Thank you for choosing Virtual DJ and Karaoke Studio, or VDJ for short. These videos will help you get acquainted with the interface. For this video, we will focus on a video slash karaoke screen. For best performance, it is recommended that an external monitor or TV be used for your patrons to view the karaoke lyrics, music videos, upcoming singers, and more. For the purposes of this and other videos, when I refer to CDG Karaoke or CDG slash zip, this simply means any karaoke file that is an MP3 paired with a CDG file, which may or may not be within a zip file. These are typically extracted from karaoke CDs or CD plus graphics discs. When I refer to karaoke graphics, I am also referring to the lyrics, which are presented as text but in a graphical form. Video karaoke is essentially a music video featuring karaoke lyrics and cannot be manipulated in the same manner as CDG karaoke. To avoid confusion, I will always refer to these simply as video files regardless of the video content. Let's walk through the configuration dialog. This dialog lets you adjust every aspect of what is shown on the video screen. We'll start at the bottom of this dialog. These settings take effect immediately without having to click apply. Temporarily override on-screen graphics simply hides the header, footer, and upcoming singer pictures from the screen during CDG karaoke and video playback respectively. This is handy if such overlays interfere with what you're playing on the screen. For CDG karaoke, this causes the lyrics area to expand to the entire screen as well. You can also access these two settings by right-clicking the video preview window. Within that right-click menu, you can also choose to enhance the CDG colors and also anti-alias the CDG karaoke lyrics. This simply takes the rough edges off. The CDG format dates back to the 1980s, so the graphics are quite primitive. These settings, along with the ability to overlay on top of your own background, give a more modern appearance to these older style graphics. Below that is the advanced screen options. For most users, these settings should not be changed without a good reason. We will quickly walk through what each of these settings do. Live Video Background If you're using a webcam as your background, sometimes after playing a video file, it may take a few seconds for your webcam to reinitialize. You may see the camera image go from light to dark or other artifacts. This setting simply keeps the webcam open while you are playing a video so that there is no delay when the video ends and the webcam takes over the screen again. Overscan Compensation This setting generally only applies to older TVs, but some newer TVs also incorporate overscan. This is where you may see some of the image cut off around the edges. TV manufacturers do this often to make the image look larger. With this setting, using the test pattern, you can adjust to compensate for this, ensuring your entire screen is visible and not cut off. If you are using multiple TVs via a splitter or multiplexer, be sure that you check each one as some models overscan more than others. Override DPI setting. This setting should be left off, especially if you're connected to an Ultra HD 4K TV or monitor. This causes VDJ to ignore the zoom setting within the Windows display settings so that it can utilize the full resolution of the screen. It is intended only if your screen is smaller and looks pixelated as a result of Windows zoom setting. Changing this setting requires that you restart VDJ. Internal graphics rendering. This setting adjusts the size of the graphics as they are rendered and mixed internally. 1080p is the default and should be used even if your screen is of a lower resolution. Closing out of the advanced window, let's move on to the background selection. This background displays on your standby screen as well as behind the lyrics when playing CDG karaoke. You can choose from a static image file, a moving video loop, or even a live webcam that is connected to your computer. Once selected, click apply to apply the background. Clicking add item allows you to add new pictures or videos to be used as backgrounds. Note that VDJ makes its own copy of any files you add to this area. This way, if you're using a background from a flash drive or other removable media, VDJ has its own copy for future use. You can remove any of your custom added items with the Remove button. Note that this actually deletes the file from VDJ's own folder, but it does not affect the original file that was copied in. For the live background selection, you may choose to point the camera at yourself, at the singer, or at the entire crowd. It's totally up to you. Advanced users may even use a video input device to put just about any video signal you like on your background. The background color sets the color that fills in any areas not covered by the background image or video. If the background is not a 16 by 9 ratio, 
there will be letterboxing, and the color you select will fill those bars. On the other hand, you can click Crop Background to Fill, which zooms the background to fill the entire screen. Note that it may crop parts of that background, so use whichever mode looks best to you. Finally, the control to darken the background behind karaoke graphics refers to CDG Karaoke. This causes the background image or video to dim, ensuring that the CDG graphics over top are easily readable. The ideal amount of dimming will highly depend on the particular background you are using and may require a little experimentation. Now let's move on to the right side of the configuration dialog. You will note that there are three different screen modes to edit individually. This allows you to have different items or colors on each type of screen. Standby is the screen shown when no video or CDG karaoke is being played. Generally, for a karaoke gig, you might have upcoming singers on this screen. CDG Zip is the screen shown behind the CDG karaoke graphics. Video lets you customize the header, footer, and countdown timer. You cannot display upcoming singers or pictures during video playback. Every setting in this area affects each screen mode separately, except that the header and footer text and font will be the same for all three modes. The color of the header and footer, however, can be different for each. Let's start with our standby screen. Of course, there is your header and footer text. You can choose whether or not these items are displayed at all, configure the text, font, and position, left, right, or centered, as well as the color. The next section allows you to show upcoming singers in a variety of ways. For pictures, there are two distinct styles. Photographic, which have the appearance of an instant camera style photograph, and square, with just a colored border around the singer's picture. For photographic, you can choose to show one, two, or three pictures. When you select three, the first, which is the next upcoming singer, is shown quite prominently with the next two smaller and off to the right. However, with this setting, you cannot show a text list as there would not be room. With two or even one, you can additionally show the text list. With square pictures, you can show one, two, or three and still display the text list. For that text list, you can choose between 1 and 10 upcoming singers. You can also select whether it shows only the singer's name or the singer's name along with the song they will be performing. You can also adjust the font and color, though keep in mind larger fonts may not allow all 10 to show and some of the text could be cut off on the right side of the screen. The next section lets you show a QR code on the screen. This QR code is a square barcode that, if you subscribe to the MyDJSongbook.com request app, will take your user directly to the app. Most modern smartphones automatically pick up this code when in camera mode, allowing the user to simply tap to visit your app. Note that there is an option to display the audio analyzer. This feature is currently under development as of version 808, so at the moment it has no effect. In a future update, this will function to display the audio analyzer from the main program window onto the video screen during standby mode. Finally, of course, you have the Apply Settings button, which causes your changes to reflect on the actual video screen. Selecting the checkbox Apply Changes in Real Time makes all changes take effect immediately on the video screen and is very useful when first setting up your screen to your liking. Moving on to the CDG Zip tab, you have many of the same options. The primary differences are, you can only show two photographic style pictures, as three would be in the way of the karaoke graphics. You can choose whether or not the lyrics are transparent, which is the default setting. This means that the karaoke graphics are overlaid on top of your selected background. Disabling this causes the original CDG background color to fill the area. This may be handy for specific CDG karaoke songs where, for example, the lyrics happen to be a very dark color or are otherwise hard to read over over your custom background. You can opt to show a countdown timer, indicating the remain time of the currently playing CDG karaoke song. Note that this feature is often useful to the host if you walk away from your computer while a patron is singing. You can tell at a glance exactly how much time is left on the song. Note that you can choose any of the four corners of the screen to display this timer. Finally, the video tab. The video tab has all of the same options without the upcoming singers. There is an additional option titled Treat Videos as karaoke. All that this feature really does is cause a player line to automatically assume that video files are karaoke, allowing the singer name to be displayed at the top of the line and defaulting the pitch slider to key adjustment. It has no bearing on how it is displayed on the screen. The player lines will be covered in another video. This concludes the video screen how-to. I hope now you have a better understanding of how to tailor this screen to your preferences. 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch our other videos to learn all aspects of Virtual DJ and Karaoke Studio. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Click the notification bell to be notified when we post new how-to videos.